In this lesson, we're going to look at the reciprocals of our trig ratios. Before we do that, just a quick reminder on how to do mathematics. Number and copy the examples. Ask your tutor or teacher if there are any steps that you do not understand. Number the questions. Unless you have the ability to get fit while watching someone else run, you must do the questions on your own before watching the answers. Mark your answers if it is incorrect. Write down the corrections. Make sure you understand where you went wrong. This will enable you to do better the next time you attempt a similar sum. So these three ratios you should know very well by now. Sine, co, cos and ton. And the next three we're going to learn is cot, sec and, and cosec. So these are its, its um, reciprocals and co-ratios. Now uh, one thing is um, one thing we don't always immediately see is is sine and cosine are, are co-ratios yeah, so it's sine cosine then ton coton then sec cosec so these two are co-ratios co-ratios and co-ratios and then the reciprocals uh, work as follows where sine and cosec are reciprocals cos and and sec and then ton and cot so the identities we want to know is the following the reciprocal, so sine, is equal to 1 over its reciprocal, same with cos and same with ton. So this you need to know once again off by heart. And um, this diagram is just, it just makes it easier to rem remember which ones are co-ratios and which are its reciprocals. So for example 6, evaluate the following without the use of a calculator. So here we have cosec and notice I can write it as um, cosec, cosec in this uh, shorter way. So for cosec 45, I know co, oops, not that, uh, cosec 45 is equal to, so I look at my co-ratios, cosec and sine theta goes together. So that's 1 over sine of 45. And then I can just use my special angles to find sine of 45. So if I have the 45 degree special angle, I know this is 1 and 1 and square root of 2. Then sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So this gives me 1 over 1 over 2 square root of 2. Where I've replaced sine 45 with its uh, ratio. So now to simplify, if I have a fraction over a fraction. Now at this point, you can put it in a calculator. I'm just going to show you how to simplify it without a calculator. 1 divided by 1 over square root of 2. And then we flip in time. So this is 1 times by the square root of 2 over 1. And this then just becomes the square root of 2. Now for the following question. Cot 30 times by 6, 60. So cot 30 degrees times by sec 60 degrees. So if I look at my uh, ratios and their reciprocals, cot 30, cot and ton goes together. So this becomes 1 over ton 30 times by sec 60. So sec and cos goes together. So this is 1 over cos 60 degrees. So this is 30. All right. So if I draw the 60 and 30 degree triangle, this being 30, 60, then this is 1, 2, and 3. So tan 30, tan from this angle, tan is opposite over adjacent, so that's 1 over square root of 3 times by, then cos 60, so cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's a half. So let's just simplify this first by um, the numerators and then multiplying the denominators we have 1 over and then if we multiply these two fractions together we have 1 over 2 square root of th uh, 3 now this becomes 1 divided by one, uh, 1 over 2 square root of 3 this becomes 1 times by the 2 square root of 3 over 1 and this is then 2 square root of 3. And then evaluate the following. Square root of 3. Cot 
30 degrees plus cosec 60 degrees. Now, if I look at these reciprocals, cot and tan goes together. So this one is then 1 over tan 30 plus and cosec and sine goes together. So this is 1 over sine 60 degrees. And then if I use my special angles, 30, no, sorry, that's 30 over there. And this one is 60. So this is 1, 2, and 3. So for tan of 30, I have tan is adjacent over, uh, opposite over adjacent. So that is going to be, oh, but we want 30, sorry. Opposite over adjacent, so that's 1 over square root of 3 plus and sine 60 opposite over uh, hypotenuse from sine 60 opposite over hypotenuse, and so that's 1 over 3 square root uh, square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so this then, if I follow the same procedures as I did previously. This would f uh, become square root of 3, and this one would then become, so I divide it, so that becomes 2 over the square root of 3. So if I multiply the square root of 3 into the bracket, the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is just 3, plus then these two will cancel. If I put my square root of 3 here, they cancel, and then I'm just left with 2, so this just becomes 5. 